Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Even though we're only halfway through March, we're going to be doing the Unify March news video. I do these once a month or once every other month when there's enough things to talk about that don't warrant a full video. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the new Unify Intercom. We're going to be talking about the Unify World Conference and more. If you'd like to support my channel, I now do have Ubiquity affiliate links that you could find in the description below. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit my website at MacTelecomNetworks.com and we do have a discord server if you want to become a part of the community the first thing we're going to take a look at is the unify portal mobile app and this came out about a week ago and there's quite a few things that we could do you would see right on the top that it says ask our unify gpt a question so if we're looking to do new build outs or we have some troubleshooting that we need to do or maybe say we need to know how to connect an electric strike to the access hub we could ask this unified GPT. Now you can also see on screen that we have this camera placement and this is done by augmented reality. We'll look at that, but it will just be in this office. And then we have the capacity calculator built right in. The capacity calculator did change a bit on the desktop as well. And we'll take a look at that after. But the first thing we'll do, we'll ask unified GPT a question. So what would you like to do? So start a build of full unified network for only $2,000. And once we press the enter button, it's gonna start listing out things that we need. Okay, so now it came back with to build a full Unify network within a $2,000 budget, this is what they recommend. So for the Unify console, we're gonna get the Dream Machine Pro. And you can see here in blue, these are links that will bring us to the store right inside of this app. And we could buy stuff and check out within the app, which is really great. For access points, we're gonna be using the U6 Pro, and then for switches, the Lite 8 PoE. Obviously, this will change the budget depending on our region, but I think this is a great integration for people who are just getting into the Ubiquity world. Now let's take a quick look at the camera placement. You'll wanna do this yourself at the front of your house or the business just to get a visual representation, but I'm gonna click on the camera placement. So now it's asking us to scan our space. So move the device slowly and it's scanning the walls. And we can see that there's some dots on the wall. Now on this wall, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a camera. We're going to say that we're going to use the AI bullet. And then all we need to do is tap to place the camera. So I'm going to tap it on this corner. This has built in FOV as well. So you can see if I go around, it's going to show us the field of view of this camera, which is really awesome. And it's great for build outs. Now we could also see that we have some control. So we could shift the camera right or left. If we hit the control button, let's bring it to the right. Now you see that the field of view changes when we move it left and right or up and down. The next thing within this app is the capacity calculator. Let's click on that and see what it gives us. So we have the UDM SE, we have the UMVR, we have the UMVR Pro, we have the Cloud Key Plus, and then we have the UDW and the UDR. I believe they are bringing the other consoles to this as well eventually. Let's just go ahead and select the UDM Pro, UDM SE. So here, if we're doing a build out, we want to make sure that we have enough compute resources and select the appropriate gear. So within the UDM SE and the UDM Pro, we could have up to 75 access points. But then if we start checking things on like the VPN, security detections, we're going to see the compute resources go up. If we have the ad blocking QoS, you'd see now we're at 56%. We could also add our different applications to this. So protect access and talk the more things that we add to this the higher the compute resources are going to take and now that i added 12 cameras to it you could see we're over the capacity and we might have to use something else or integrate a umbr with this console now i'm going to go through quickly the next couple things we have the store which is just their normal storefront but we can check out with this app we have the community forums which is really great and i'm in there probably every day checking new things so i like that i have it now on my phone on a mobile app and the last thing is the tech specs. If you haven't looked at tech specs, this is a great resource for checking out what the gear is capable of or getting marketing images. All the images that you see in my thumbnails or on my screen when I'm doing topologies are from techspecs.ui.com. But we also have this feature that we could compare. So if I click compare 
it's going to compare the Dream Machine SE, the Dream Machine Pro, the UDW, and we could also do filtering if we only want to compare, say, the UDM SE to the Dreamwall. Now, go make sure you check out that Unify Portal app. It's free to use, and that camera placement AR is really, really cool. Now, this is what the capacity calculator looks like if you're just going on through a normal web page. So, we have all our different consoles, and you can see the compute resources. It's the exact same on the phone, but on a web page. Now, something else that just came out of the blue was Wi Fi. UI.com and this is a Wi-Fi calculator so you could see on screen that we have a U7 Pro and then we have a Wi-Fi 7 client. The further we drag it away we could see the DB or the signal going down and we could also see the real world specs. So this is kind of interesting. I haven't played around with it too much, but I thought I'd mention it in this video. Now, roughly a week ago, Ubiquiti launched the Unify Intercom for Unify Access. Of course, it's sold out right now, but it should be available soon. But this is an indoor-outdoor intercom terminal for managing residential and commercial building entry requests. It has a built-in directory. We could use QR codes to get into it, and it's connected to the Unify Access Hub. One really good thing about this is it's weatherproof and it could be exposed to minus 30 to 60 Celsius, which is great. Down below, we could see that they have a bunch of different mounting options that will be coming soon. But to pair with this, they have the intercom viewer, which is $199. What this display does, it pairs with the intercom and it allows two-way audio. It has instant live view. It's a five inch display and this will allow us to bring people in and bring people out. I will be getting the intercom and a few of the displays to do an on-site video, so watch out for that. Now, if you're tired of your eyes burning from going to the site manager on being light mode, well, they have introduced dark mode. So if we go up to the top right corner, you could see this toggle switch here. We could go light, dark, or system. Let's change it over to dark mode. So that will be a lot easier for people who do work with the dark mode. This also works with Unify Access, so let's go take a look. Now you can see I'm within my Unify Access and the dark mode did carry over, but this still doesn't work for local as they don't have a system setting for dark mode within Unify Access, and I'll show you that. Now we're in Unify Access locally, we could see system, but there is nowhere to change the system settings for the light or dark mode. So the only way to do it is to go through the site manager as of right now. And one thing that I'll mention quickly is something for the EV station, and this is the EV station pro card reader. So this is to be able to accept payments, and we could do MasterCard, Visa, American Express, Discover, Apple Pay, and Google Pay. So this is nice that they brought that out. I wish it was just included with the EV Station Pro though. And the last thing we're gonna talk about is the Ubiquity World Conference, which I'm really excited about. This kicks off in Chicago on March 26, and I'll be there. So if you do see me, feel free to come up and talk to me. But this will be going to the EU as well. So we got United Kingdom on the 22nd of April. We have Munich, we have Stockholm, we have Dubai, and we have Singapore. I'm hoping that it comes to Canada as well, which I would go to the Toronto. But what will be happening, Rubber Pair, the CAO, is going to be doing a keynote. There's going to be product demos, which will be nice to see. And there will be a unified deep dive. So this I'm really looking forward to. And I will be filming most of it. I don't believe I'm going to be able to film the keynote, though. And that's going to be it for this video on the Unify news of March of 2024. The Unify Portal app is really something special. I love the AR cam replacement and I'm going to be playing around with it more. If you are going to the Ubiquity World Conference in Chicago, let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.